Record. Recording video. Hey everybody, this is Sully with Five Freaking Onion Rings coming at you today. Hope you are doing fantastically well. I have a quick tip for DaVinci Resolve, and I'm sure we've all been through this where we go through our edit and we have done all our cuts and we've added in our stuff and then we realized our color correction wasn't right and we have 50 clips and we have only color corrected one. And I wanted to show you a simple tip on how to save that color correction as a profile and apply it to multiple clips at one time. And it's really awesome. And, and not even only can you save one profile, but say you have two or three cameras and you have two or three different color profiles you want to have in the same one, you can save those and apply the same one to each individual clip in multiple, in batch, in all. It's a great feature of DaVinci Resolve. It's really, really cool and it's really simple and we're really going to get into it. But first, if you like this type of content, give me a like, thumbs up, subscription. Let me know down below what you think about it. And if you have any other things you want to look at in DaVinci Resolve and we will jump right into it right now. So here we are in our color. Make sure you have notes open and uh, if you click on clips or timeline, you can see that I have a ton of clips here and I've only color corrected one. Actually, I've color corrected two because I wanted to show a difference. This is my warmer, you know, a little bit warmer, a little bit older timey feeling. And this is my, just what I want to use for my person. I haven't corrected any of the others. This is always a problem I've had where I do one and then I have to go through and copy and paste or there are many ways you can do this. If I wanted to, I could say select this clip go back to the original that has the grade on it, right click and apply grade and it will pop me into the new grade. So this is the ungraded, this is the graded. Yay, total difference. Now doing that for each one, if I had to go back to the original clip and cop, yeah, that's, that's a pain in the butt. So what you're gonna do is select the one you want and on Macintosh, you'll hit option one. That puts you as profile one. Now you can go through click on the clips you want, hold down shift if you want to select a bunch of them in a row or hold down command click and select the ones you want. And that will let you select many different clips that once you have all the clips selected that you want to use this color grade on, you simply have to hit command one on Macintosh. And that will put every clip that you selected, see I skipped one there, that will put every clip that you selected in that new color grade. And it's really freaking awesome. Now, let's say I want this clip to have this warm old time. All I have to do is Option or Alt 2. Now I have another profile. So now anything I click and select with that profile, I just have to do Command 2 and I will get the different profile. So now I have two profiles. So let me scroll down here. I have two profiles and I can select between the two by simply doing on Apple again. It's command one will give me the original that I want or command two will give me my warm. So now I have two different profiles I can choose between. And this is really helpful if you're not sure which one you want to use. So say you have a couple clips and you like certain parts for, of each one. You can set up two profiles and all I'm doing is switching between Control 1 and Control 2 or Command 1 and con Command 2 since I already copied those profiles. And now you are able to easily go through an entire timeline, highlight all, and I can move them all to the same, the same one, or I can move them all to another one. Saved me so much trouble because uh, if you have a couple cameras set up, you can color correct for one camera and select all the clips from that camera and you can color correct for the other camera, select them all and set your profile and you're off to the races. So that is it. And that my friends, that is really freaking cool. So kudos to DaVinci. This works on 16, 17, probably 15. I never tried 15, I have no idea. But it, it's, I'm on 17 on a Mac right now. Can you believe that junk? Can't believe I switched over to a Mac. I have gone to the dark side, but, but, it's freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Can't get enough of it. 
Once again, like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And if you are rocking that COVID hair, let me know because it is freaking 2021. And I'm out.